Okay, so things are working out using the browser and the postman as well. So just to show you the output of postman, so when you click on this send, you got this data in this JSON format, right? Uh, in fact, in Postman also you can get in a text format if you want, but since it is JSON, we can get JSON. Uh, you can even request for XML, but then for that you have to request for XML. By default, you request for JSON. Okay, but then let's talk about the front end now. If you, if you remember, we have seen the front end code, and then I have stopped it, so we'll run this once again. Basically, when you run this, it will open the page. Let's do that. So I will say npm run dev and it started on this port number so mind you uh, just to give you a hint so basically we are using this port number which is 5173 for the front end so when i click on this uh, it will take you to the browser and you can see this is what it says the reason it is saying that something went wrong is something is wrong <laughs> right how do we know some what is wrong so what you can do is you can go to the inspect element and Let's head back to the console and let's see what errors you get when you run this. So refresh and you got an error. So if you try to understand, so it says uh, this is from origin. This has been blocked by the cross uh, cause policy. Uh, no, ac no, no, no access control allow origin header is present. Okay, so basically uh, it gives you a cause error, which is cross origin resource sharing error. So what is this? See, the server is running on port number 8080. First of all, let's check if the server is running. So I will just go back here, run, server is running, right? But the server is running on 8080. So if you head back to your diagram here, so the server, which is this, is running on 8080 port number, and the front end, React, is running on five, uh, okay, what is running on? It's 5173. And they are basically running on two different port numbers. Now what happens is, for the security reasons, uh, it is not allowed to send a request with, a, with, with some other address. Maybe there will be some malicious uh, website which is trying to access the resource. So that's why they say, okay, hold on, uh, you can only access from the same resource. And that's why we are saying it is cause, which is cross origin resource sharing error. So from, from the same origin, you can access it. Cross, you cannot. And that's what is happening here. So we're getting this error. How do we solve this? Now, of course, uh, there are multiple ways of doing that from the server side, from the client side. Let's only focus on the server side now. So if you want to solve this problem, before Spring Boot, we were supposed to do a lot of configuration. But now in Spring Boot, what you simply do is you go back to your controller, on top of your controller, just say at the rate cause origin. Okay, that's it. Nothing changes. By doing this, just restart, and I don't see any error in the console. That's a good thing, okay? Now, let me go back to the uh, browser and hit this URL without the front end. It works for the same resource or when you're accessing the, from the browser directly. But when you try to access through the browser or to, through the front end, let's refresh and you got the data. So that was the issue and it was giving you error. So whatever data was there in the database, now you can see on the front end. So what is this? Uh, okay, so I have to go back to 100. So this is how it looks like. I will go with the dark mode. This looks good compared to the white mode. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we got different products here. And as you add more products, you will see that here. Of course, when I click on add product, this feature is still not here. Uh, so in the upcoming videos where we talk about add product, we'll change the front end as well. Home is this. If you click on the disco, it will take you to the disco homepage. Okay. And if you click on categories, it's not, it's not enabled yet. Uh, cart is also not working. If you can see, search will also not work. Add to cart button from here will also not work. So we have to enable this. Also, when you click on each product, I want to see their description. So let's say if I click on Swift, so what exactly the cart features are. So I want to know those things. So maybe the features like easily damageable or not safe card. On the other hand, next on safe card. Again, I'm not promoting a card or saying anything. It's just that, opinions. Anyway, so let's go back to the front end and let's see what is happening in the front end, how you are sending the re request. So this is the page on the home page. When you refresh the page, it will hit this URL, which is, uh, which is mentioned before. And whatever data you get, it will be set in the products. And using that products, we are running a map. And for each product, we are basically running, uh, it's like a loop kind of stuff and you are fetching each element and you're printing or you're showing on the screen. 
okay? Uh, it's looking beautiful because of the CSS, otherwise it's simple stuff. Now, how do you make other things? Basically, if you see there is also add product, but uh, it says coming soon, there should be some more code here. And uh, for search also we'll, we'll have that. So it nav bar, I think it's not implemented yet. So yeah, so in this video, we have talked about the cause origin, which is mentioned here and we have solved this problem. So now the front end and the back end is connected and now we can focus on the next parts.